is up you guys so today I'm gonna to be showing you a tutorial on how to do this cut out black and white effect I guess um this is coming from the PNB rock notice me music video okay so you're gonna to want to have this quality set to full and I know it's gonna make after effects slower for you but it's gonna make the roto brush look better okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is just duplicate this clip so I'm gonna press command D and I duplicated it and then we can go to the rotor brush tool and then we're just gonna drag the areas of the person that we want to cut out okay but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna change the quality back to third because uh, I want this video to go by a little bit faster but basically you just use the rotor brush tool to cut out the person you want to cut out and if you make a mistake you can press alt and it'll change the color to red and this will erase the parts that you don't want while green will add the parts and you can also change the brush size of it by holding command and then dragging your mouse bigger and smaller so you can basically go frame by frame and you can go to the next frame by holding the command and right arrow tool and just go frame by frame just cutting out all the parts that you want to keep so I'm just gonna go for a very little bit seconds right now and I'm gonna turn the eye off for the bottom clip so now we can just look at this clip and see what we cut out so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the rotor brush settings and we can feather the edges a bit so it looks a little bit cleaner so you can adjust the feathering and shift the edge which is what I'm doing and yeah it looks a little bit nicer now and just go ahead and go back and adjust the parts that don't look so clean anymore um, because as you can see like some parts are showing that I won't, don't want to show so you can go back and use the rotor brush tool. Okay so once you're done with that you can go to your clip that you cut out and command D to duplicate it again and then we can just drag that to the right and now you can see it's kind of like a cut out effect with two people. And I'm just going to drag this to the second line because I want it to go to the right and be in back of her. And then you can go to effects and presets and add tint to your second line. And look, it makes it black and white. Okay, so now you can basically just customize this to your liking. You can uh, duplicate this one more time and then add like a different color effect, I guess. So I can go and duplicate this and add color balance to this and just like change it to a different color. I don't know. You can add so many cool different effects and make this look really really cool um and then we can turn the eye back on for a bottom clip and we can see this effect happening and yeah looks pretty cool um it's only going on for a little bit of seconds and obviously the rotor brush tool is not good at all because i didn't use it right i was just kind of rushing through this for the sake of this tutorial but i'm just gonna delete that uh third copy because i don't really like that green look um, so I'm going to go and duplicate my top two clips again, and now I have a copy of our two copies, I guess, you know what I mean? Um, and then we can just position this into a random place. So I'm just going to bring the scale down a bit by pressing S and then bringing the scale down to like 55 and then putting it to the side. So now it's like four of her, so yeah. Okay, so in this music video, it has a bunch of different effects going on. There's like emojis and uh, multiple people in this. Oh, and you can also try to animate this a bit. So I'm just going to select the smaller version of her and I'm just going to go a little bit forward after the clip starts. Press P for position and press the keyframe button and then go in the beginning and then just drag that position Y axis all the way down so she disappears. And so basically if we watch it back, she just pops up very fast okay so in the music video there's like emojis and stuff so I'm just gonna add this like peace sign and then get rid of the white parts so basically you could just add a bunch of different emojis and stuff and it could look pretty cool and then you can kind of animate this if you want so I can go to the rotation by pressing R and then just going to the beginning and then pressing the keyframe button and then go a little bit after the clip starts, adjust the rotation just a little bit to like 12 and then go a little bit forward again and then go back to negative 9 so it swings back and forth and then you can just copy all the keyframes by pressing command C and then go a little bit after our last keyframe and just paste it so basically it just does this little swing effect and yeah I just wanted to show you one thing you can do 
So yeah, that's basically how the mu music video effect is. It's just like using the rotor brush tool to cut out these the people and then adding like emojis that move, I guess. So yeah, that's the whole tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.